So here we go, the very first video on Jack Sucks at Geography. Thank you, by the way, for 50,000 subscribers. That is insane. The very first video, we're going to be playing weird and cool tourist attractions. This map has been marked as moderate and it gets an average score of 15,000. So I kind of just want to beat the average score. Every single round has been handpicked as being just really weird. Okay, this doesn't look especially weird. Look how cute that dog is. Oh, <laughs> so what's the weird thing? There's something weird in every single one, apparently. That's not Stanley. Never mind. He's taking a picture of this person. Is this weird? Oh my god, is he- he's eating b babies! <laughs> is he? I think he's eating the children! He's got a small toddler in his mouth and he's eating them? Maybe? Alright, I can confirm. Yeah, that, that's pretty weird. <laughs> right, now he just needs to work out which country we're in, because I don't think it's English speaking. What's that say? Connors Schleilerdown. Do you think we're somewhere European? We can see that registration plate and it starts with B-E. Looking at the way the words are, it looks European. I'm unfortunately no good at languages. I failed both French and German at school. I'm leaning towards this being Germany at the minute, but it might be somewhere like Sweden as well. I'm really not sure. Where would they have statues of someone eating a baby. Right, we're gonna have to find a website link. Website URLs always really help me out. So I recognise a lot of the shops. They're at McDonald's. They've got a H&M over there. They've got a body shop and a game stop. It can't be somewhere too far from where I am. And it must be somewhere where people speak English, even if it's not the first language. What does that say? Oh gosh. The issue we've got is that we are just really limited by where we can travel. When I click here, look, I'm actually now stuck here. Oh, Switzerland. Okay, fair enough. We weren't too far from from Germany. We're just below here. So I've been seeing B-E-R a lot. Look, B-E-R, what's that? Burner? We can see B-E on this registration plate and on the bus, I think that says burn something as well. So because of that, I reckon we're in burn. And I'm assuming it's reasonably central burn. We might be completely wrong here. This is all I've got to go on. This looks like it'd be a central part of the city though. I guess we'll zoom into the middle. Let's see if we can find some restaurants. Right, let's look for Cornhouse Burhun. I reckon we're somewhere around this area. It just feels like the right kind of spot. I'm struggling. I'm not finding anything. I noticed there's are these tram lines, maybe. So can we see a train station anywhere nearby? Yeah, these are trams, but I'm guessing there's trams. Yeah, they're all over the city. All these little blue things. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere. This isn't it. It says assembly building with domed hall. You never know. That could be that thing right there. I don't think it is because none of the shops are lining up, but I'm just struggling to get anywhere closer. So this isn't going to be an exact score, but I'm hoping that we're in the right city, which I guess we might not. Be. Let's make the guess. Oh, we were really close. We got 4,999 points. We were 300 meters away, so it was up here apparently. We were really looking in the right area. We got to the right city at least, so I guess that's not too bad for a global map. Let's play the next round. That possibly will be the best that we're gonna get this whole time. By the way, that's round one over. Click that subscribe button. I want to upload at least weekly. I'm kind of hoping for twice a week. We're doing GeoGuessr, Street View, Bingo, anything else like that. Okay, so what's weird about this? Is it just a really creepy alleyway. So once again, we are not somewhere English speaking, which makes me very sad. We're in a creepy alleyway. Not a fan of this place. Hang on, maybe this is English speaking. The most varieties of beer commercially available was 2004 at Derlum Cafe, Brussels, Belgium. Do you think we're in Brussels, Belgium? So in 2004, this place had a world record. We're in Brussels, Belgium. Right, I'm zooming in on the wrong continent. <laughs> Belgium, Brussels. So let's just get right into the thick of it. There's anything stand out? We're at like a creepy little alleyway. It's like Nocturne Alley or something. Look at it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty frightened at this point. There is some interesting architecture around here. Look at all of this. Look how spooky that building is. We've got to be really in the center of Brussels here. Yeah, there are lots of- Oh, oh my god, I might have- I literally could have just found it there. Delirium Monstatorium. Delirium was the name of that restaurant, wasn't it? Let's return to the start. Delirium Cafe, Floris Bar. Floris Bar- Oh! <laughs> I think we've just happened to have found it. Flora's bar is right there. Flora's garden. Where's Flora's garden? Flora's garden's this one. Okay, now we found it. We want 5,000 points, so it's just working out exactly which way we are. Alright, so this is a dead end, so I'm guessing we're at the dead end. Leon. Let's look for Leon. So Leon should be... There's Leon. Okay, we're good. We're good. We found it. So let's return to start, and we are basically right in the corner. So do you think shove us there? Let's shove us right there. That should be 5,000. It is! We were one meter away. Very close there. This is bloody going well. You all said I wasn't qualified enough to have a geography based YouTube channel, but look at me go. Oh, this is wide out in the open. We are in America by the looks of this American flag and this gentleman. <laughs> this fella has decided to stand right in front of the sign. That's brilliant that. Ball of twine. World's largest. Oh, that's the world's largest ball of twine. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then this knobhead in the vest decided to stand right in front of it. That's brilliant news. Right, where would the largest piece of twine in the world be? <laughs> I mean, I have absolutely no idea. I really don't have a big knowledge of the United States. Let's return back to the start. Look at this sign. Largest ball of sisal twine. That's not really a clue. We're going to have to find a road sign, a big road sign. Wisconsin Street. Not narrowed down at the moment. Great Plains Gallery. That is not helpful. This is an interesting little landscape, isn't it? Look at that house. Farmers and Merchants State Bank. Nothing is being helpful so far. Corker City. Does anyone happen to see Corker City? Never ever heard of it. I have no idea. My instinct though reckons we're in the middle of the country. We're in deep somewhere, you know what I mean? Like Nebraska or Colorado or something. There's no chance I'm going to see Corker City, is it? We need to confirm which state we're in at the very least and then we can maybe look for Corker City. So we're on Wisconsin Street, but I don't even know where Wisconsin is. I know that the Americans might be really shouting at me now, but I have no idea where Wisconsin is. Glen Elder and Beloit. I have no idea. There's another sign over here. What does this one say? It's just going to say Corker City, isn't it? It does. It says Corker City. Where's Corker City, though? Oklahoma City, Kansas City. The whole of America might be named like this. Slouk City. We'll click in here for now. Well, I guess we're out on the open road together. I could just do with a state sign, please. Some states aren't, you know, the size of my entire country. It should take no time at all to find which city I'm in. Lakeside Park Golf Courses. Not helpful. I mean, this road could literally go on for hundreds of kilometers. There's a historical marker in one mile, though. That's gonna be great. I can't wait for that. Whoa, what's happening here? Is it kicking off? It's kicking off. Is he a police officer? He's kicking off at something. I don't know what he's kicking off about. Sheriff! <gasps> oh! There's been a bit of drama here. What's the sheriff one? Look at the sheriff's big American square car. He's got a sheriff's badge for a registration plate. Oh, you Americans are so funny. <laughs> That's the historical marker, by the way, that bit of wood. Brilliant. You just really need to be zoomed in. Oh, Wisconsin. We found with... with <laughs> there was a Wisconsin street. We're maybe near it, but that isn't for definite. Let's just look for Corker City. Now we found Wisconsin. I cannot say that word. Come on, this is going to be an absolute corker if we find it. Where is it? There's lots of lakes around here. You know, I may as well have a zoom about. Norway? What's Norway doing here? Nigeria? Oh, that doesn't say Nigeria. Never mind. Right, heartbreakingly, I'm not finding Corker City anywhere but it's probably just because I'm not zoomed in enough but there's just so much of Wisconsin that I need to kind of search about a little longer than a few minutes later <laughs> All right, back on the open roads. We'll just look for more clues. We might have to give up and just not get a really high score this round. We can sacrifice one round. You know how it goes. What does this say? Beloit Concordia. I don't know where those places are. Corker City Downs, US 36. We could try and find the number 36. 35 is here, to be fair, so it might not be too far away. Oh, my God, look. We've got 37 there. We've got 35 there. But the thing is, the numbers could be anywhere. For example, just over here is 240. 47, but we're not necessarily that close. I'm still following road 35 and we are going very far up. Oh no, 35 has vanished completely. 35, don't do this to me. I mean, it sounds like we're in the right area because there's lots of lakes. This place is called Otter Creek. Wakanda Boats. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know where Wakanda is. I don't know where Corker City is. Route 24 is here and I think Route 24 is the one we're actually on. I know I was looking for 36. I could be wrong. I don't really know how the road signs work. Oh, oh, damn it. That says Calvert City. I thought we found Corker City, but we haven't. I mean, Route 24 looks like Round Knob. Route 24 looks like it's massive. I see. I'm trying to find a sign that says Route 24 somewhere. Look, this is what I'm on about. It just says 24. So I think that might mean that we're on this road, but I don't know. Okay, 24 ends there. So let's go the other way. We've potentially gone the wrong way. Ooh, we're going through Nashville. This doesn't feel right, but we'll stick with it. You never know. And if not, I'm just going to guess randomly because we've spent too long on this one now. 24. We've lost 24. It's turned into 75. I think we might have reached the end of 24 this way as well. We are not getting anywhere here, are we? Let's give up. I'm just going to put myself... It's not right. It's not going to be 5,000 points. Sod it. That's not a bad place to be. Let's take the guess. Ah. So we got 2,300 points because we were 500 miles away. I said we were somewhere in the middle of the country and we're literally like banging the bloody middle of it. Let me find it. Where's Corker City? There it is. Is. And there's 24. What happened to 24? I followed you the whole way. I think I was following the wrong ones. I was following these blue numbers instead of just the clear numbers. I don't know how it works. But where's the big ball of yarn? <laughs> there it is. World's largest ball of twine. 
some great stuff. Let's play the next round. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we are somewhere Asian. There is a big giant speaker, which I'm assuming is our weird and cool tourist attraction. <laughs> I don't know where this is. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know if this is Japan, China, South Korea. I really don't know. I'm not feeling good about this one. Wait, are you kidding? I can't even move. I can't go anywhere. This is not what I needed. This fella is all I've got to go on with his stupid thick sunglasses. Come on, there might be a clue anywhere on him. There could be a clue anywhere. What's she got on her phone? Is it Google Maps? That would be handy. As if I can't move. I'm gonna get nothing. I'm literally gonna get zero points on this one. There's some really nice mountains behind the giant speaker thing. Let's say we're in Japan, but we might not be. We could be in Thailand. We could be in the Philippines. I don't know. I think Japan might be a mistake. We're just gonna go. Yeah, we'll go there. This isn't gonna be right, is it? As if I can't move anywhere. That's not fair, that. Any website URLs? No. No, there aren't. Let's just go for it. Guess. Once again, we were about as far away as we were on the last one. We were in South Korea. I would never have got that. So we were another 500 miles away. So we got another 2,500 points. But if you put those together, it's a full high score, which is great. So let's play our final round. I think we've already beaten the average, which I'm pleased about. We don't have too much pressure on this last round. What are we going with? We've got a big ball. Is that our thing of interest? That big ball? Looks like we're in America again, I think. Are there any clues on the big ball? My chosen destiny. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that truck. This has got to be a America again. There's a cemetery as well. Oh, look how mint those cars are. That looks incredible. Hopefully it says, oh, there's no text at all. Brilliant news. Oh, brilliant. That sign's blurred as well. You are testing me on this final round. Connor Real Estate, LLC. LLCs are American companies. That confirms that we are in America, I think, anyway. So does things like this water hose thing. What does that say? Wesley Ann Female College, maybe? I don't know any Wesleys and I don't know any Anns. This is not good. Ward's Dry Cleaning. Give me a state, please. I just need one state. This has some very out of town GTA vibes when I see these cars and these houses. Here we go, here we go. The computer patch. Sales and services. Deeds, accessories. Brilliant. All that's Victoria. Yeah, I don't think that's the place Victoria. I think it's just someone called Victoria. Oh, we are being let down. We had such a good first couple of rounds and it's all just falling apart. Right, there's gonna be a disappointing end, I think. A disappointing finish. We really are setting the tone, aren't we, for the Jack Sucks at Geography YouTube channel. This is meant to be the big launch. North 54. Don't get sucking into them again, Jack. You can't trust these numbers. Anyone just happen to see a 54? I might just give up because I don't think I'm going to find anything. But yeah, why does America have to be so massive? I just don't get it. 212 Washington Avenue. So that doesn't mean that it's near Washington, but it's somewhere to click, isn't it? You know what I mean? Do you think they'd have Washington Avenue in Washington? It would look a bit weird on your address, wouldn't it? So maybe this is a bad idea because Wyoming Avenue, I don't think was actually in Wyoming. I think to finish off, we click randomly. What do you reckon? <laughs> right there. Not too far from Washington. I've literally not seen a single place name, I don't think. Maybe Delta. So let's just guess and see what happens. Ah, uh, 600 miles away. We were in Brownsville. I've never heard of, I would never have got that. There's the 54 road though, to be fair. View summary. We got 17,000 points. We did manage to beat the average, but not especially by much, but not too bad. Thank you very much for watching the very first video on Jack Six of Geography. Remember to subscribe, turn notifications on as well. We upload so many videos on so many different channels and it's worth just having notifications on because I think you're just going to end up missing videos otherwise. And I have notifications on for channels. That doesn't mean that I watch the video as soon as the notification comes out. Just reminds me that the video's there so I can watch it when I've got time. All right, thanks. I'll see you later. He's got a small toddler in his mouth and he's eating them?